and I'm Zach, and welcome to A Day Lab Week. Today is Tuesday, October 27th, and as you know, this week our schedule switch from 45 minute classes to 90 minute classes. When we come back on Thursday, you will attend classes 5 through 8. Also, we are excited to say that Cafe Blue will be open this week for a trial run. They will follow all the same safety precautions that restaurants in Wilson County follow to ensure the safety of our customers. It is cash only, and students may purchase breakfast from 725 to 745. After, teachers may send a class order and send a student with the teacher's ID to pick it up. The cafe will not deliver this week. Yearbooks are still on sale. Students can purchase these on the school website or on A303. They are $65, which is the lowest price of the year. Students can personalize their yearbooks with a name stamp for an additional $15. Seniors, please stop by the guidance office to pick up a voucher to take the December ACT for free. You will use this voucher to sign up online at act.org to take the December 12th test. The deadline to sign up without a late fee is November 6th, so get on it quick. This is a deadline week for seniors. TN Promise application deadlines is November 2nd. UTK and other universities have a November 2nd application deadline in order to be eligible for competitive scholarships. Even if you think you won't use it, go ahead and apply so you will remain eligible. Circumstances change, and we want you to keep free college as an option. Students, don't forget that you do not come to school next Tuesday. That is Election Day. Instead, we will attend school next Monday, November 2nd, and Thursday, November 5th. Guidance created a remind code for each grade. Please join your class's remind with your code as soon as possible. This is a great way for them to inform you about test dates and deadlines. There's an FBLA meeting Wednesday, November 4th, and Thursday, November 5th after school in the bank. It is not too late to join. GSA will have meetings today and tomorrow after school in Ms. Robinson's room, B213. If you're interested in being an officer for GSA, please get an application from Ms. Robinson and bring it in to the next meeting. It's that time again. Student Council is hosting our annual canned food drive for the Wilson County Help Center. The canned food drive will take place November 2nd, next Monday, to November 13th. This year, the class competition will be between the second class of the day and fifth block on Skyward. Teachers can offer their incentives to all their classes, but the cans will only count for the second and fifth. This year, they're offering prizes to students, clubs, and even teachers. Soups and peanut butter are worth four points. Canned meats are worth three points. Mac and cheese and rice are worth two points. Fruit, vegetables, beans, and others are worth one point. They ask that you have no glass or ramen noodles and please check the expiration dates. Teachers, if you would like a box to help collect your cans in your classroom, please email Ms. Robertson. Boys basketball tryouts will be Tuesday, November 3rd from 6.45 to 7.45 a.m. in the main gym. Interested students must have a current physical in order to try out. Students will need to enter through the doors at the back of the school by the auto shop due to the commons being used for the election. Any questions should be directed to Coach McDowell or Coach Martin. Last year, BDN launched the streaming of live events here at LHS. It was a huge success and we want to expand. We average around 1,200 views per basketball game and we are currently recruiting new students, boys and girls, to join our BDN sports crew. We need behind the scenes as well as commentators. Come by the BDN room, B322, and see Miss Nick. Congratulations to our senior Blue Devil bowler, Caleb Gregory, for shooting a perfect 300 game during the third game of the match. Caleb also finished the first 700 series of the season by a score of 739. Take a look at his amazing shot. Where's the excitement? Where's the Caleb. Congratulations to Aiden Britt who smashed the 5k course record at Macon County High School on Tuesday with a time of 16 minutes and 8 seconds. The previous record had stood since 2009. Out of a field of 115 runners, LHS had four students medal in the top 20. Congratulations to Aiden Britt, Hayden Jones, 
Judah Bender, and Todd Gonzalez. The region meet and state qualifier is today, Tuesday, in Hendersonville. Good luck, Blue Devils. Red Ribbon Week, which is celebrated annually October 23rd through the 31st, is the nation's oldest and largest drug prevention awareness program. Since its beginning in 1985, the Red Ribbon has touched the lives of millions of people around the world. To celebrate, we are asking you to wear red shirts tomorrow and Thursday this week. This Friday, our boys varsity football team takes on Rossview here at home. The theme is Halloween, and it is a must win for our boys to advance to the playoffs. That's all the news we have today, LHS. I'm Logan. And I'm Zach, and this has been news to you from, from the, the white, white and blue. And a boy. Yeah. Oh, give me high five. Yeah. My hands are sweaty, but I'm nervous. What is up with that? Cha-ching, my team. Woo!